File of Life is a wonderful program. We're very fortunate in Collier County that uh, we have this program. Uh, it's been around for quite a few years, so it is, uh, there is an institutional use of this program, I guess is the way to say that. In other words, the emergency medical technicians, the police, others know about this program. They're trained in this program. So it's not one of those little hidden things. It's out there, it's been around, people know about it. Uh, but essentially the file of life is all of your important medical information. There's a little sticker inside. If you choose to fill out your file of life, and we hope you will, you can put this sticker on the front window or on the door, somewhere where an emergency person coming in will see it and know to go and look right away. Do you do this once a year or do you do it more often? Well, I think it's definitely good to, to review it at least once a year, but they are asking for medications in here. And I know for many people, medications change month to month. So in a case like that, maybe you keep your medications on a separate sheet and you just stick the new one down in here. A lot of people keep their meds on the computer where they can constantly update them and just print out a new copy, stick it in the file of life. Is this um, for the patient? Or for Actually, if you look inside, you can fill out for two people, person one and person two. So you do it, I do it for both. Uh, and, you know, it asks you some basic medical uh, screening questions. I'd ask you emergency contact information, insurance information, uh, things like is there a living will or a DNR, do not resuscitate form, those kinds of things, which in a crisis situation could be very important. And let's be honest, I mean, this is, if you've got EMTs coming to your house, it's a crisis. Uh, and people get excited. They're scared, they're upset, and none of us functions well in those kinds of situations. So it's good to have this information readily available. So you're not trying to remember it um, while you're not feeling well. I think uh, somebody had re uh, recommended to us uh, that we do the medications in pencil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, I mean, you can put your name and, and address and everything in pen, but because you will be erasing and changing the medications if you're on top of it, that's what I've done. With the yeah, that's pen. a good tip. It's, if you're putting it right on this form, yeah, pencil, because you are, invariably they change. Yeah. And, uh, you know, EMTs, when they come to your house, one of the things, the first things they do is go to your medicine cabinet and grab all the pill bottles that are in there and start assessing, you know, what are you taking, what are you, you know, what is your order, but maybe not taking, maybe you've taken something incorrectly. So they're, they're you know, trying to figure that out, uh, but if you've got it all laid out for them, then that whole process runs so much smoother. And we want things to be going smooth at this point. Uh, on the back is a list of some local resources, another little helpful piece of information. But you fill this out, you put it in the little packet, and then it can go right on your refrigerator. It's got a little magnet on it. It can go right on the refrigerator. Now they tell me some of the new refrigerators are not magnetized anymore. Uh, they didn't ask us if that was okay, so. Uh, but you can, you can tape it there, you know, it doesn't have to be on the refrigerator, but that's the most common spot, and it tends to be a good place. Um, you want it just readily available somewhere. And then the two little ones here are just smaller versions of the same information. These are your purse and wallet. Uh, file of life. Uh, so you can carry that information with you when you travel around town. Very important. Uh, again, if you're a caregiver and you're in a car accident and you're knocked unconscious and they find this, they pull it out. One good thing you might put in here is, I am a caregiver. 
And in fact, in your booklet, on the left-hand side is a little card. It says, in an emergency, I am a caregiver for someone with Alzheimer's. Their name is, they are at. Good piece of information. I know somebody was saying the other day they have a piece of paper taped to the dashboard of their car. Is that anybody here today has done that? Actually taped it onto the dashboard saying, I'm a caregiver for my husband with dementia. I live at. So in case they are knocked unconscious, they come to the car, they're going to see that on the dashboard and know that that's a situation that they have to respond to. And they will. That's the good news too. Our, our emergency people, our sheriff's deputies, and our EMTs, um, they're aware of these situations. And when they see that they have a caregiving and that there may be somebody that's uh, memory impaired and needs to be uh, looked after, they will send an officer to the house or they'll go where they need to do to make sure that person is safe. And they will stay with them until that person is safe. 